What are we driving? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, true, the track. We'll take it to the top and that's the truth. Nah, I'm just kidding. Why would I ever want to drive anywhere with a house like this? Welcome to 247 Horace Walters Road in Rayford, North Carolina. This is a DBP, li uh, DBP home listed by Sue Priest of Remax. Come on in. All right, so immediately as you walk in, to the right you have like a little office area with the coffered ceilings. Really beautiful area, office, um, playroom, whatever your heart desires, it's right there for you. One other thing that I really like about this property is the wrought iron um, staircase. The wrought iron just adds a little bit of touch of elegance to this property and you'll see the rest of the home does not disappoint. So right through here, you have the half bath, just a standard half bath, pedestal sink, nice big open closet here. <clears throat> and then right through here, you have the great room. So immediately in front of me, you have the fireplace with the wood beam mantle and this nice um, I don't know what to call this, but this nice accent wall, I guess you could say, with all of the wires ran through the back. So floating fireplace, really beautiful, um, really adds a touch of elegance and a touch of class. This is definitely something that uh, my wife wants to do at our house, so it looks like I'll be doing this pretty soon. Um, one thing that you're gonna notice about this property is that it is a uh, basically like a modern farmhouse, right? So you're out in the middle of the country in Rayford, and you have this nice, giant, beautiful home with a three-car garage that just screams modern farmhouse. So this is the nice open eat-in area. And then through here, you have the kitchen. So again, farmhouse sink. You have the built-in microwave in the island. Soft closed cabinets. Subway tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances, beautiful hood rain or uh, hood vent and then a good sized pantry. One thing to note is that these countertops are actually quartz countertops, which uh, are a little bit of a step up from granite. They're not, it's not as porous, and so it is a lot easier to maintain, a lot easier to clean, and a lot less likely to stain. All right, let's take a look upstairs. All right, so right as you walk up the stairs, you immediately enter the loft area. Another one of my favorite like features about this house is a loft area. I have a loft area in my home, I love it. It's a place where we can gather when we're doing our laundry, watch TV, watch the movies together, whatever the case is. But it's a separate area from the downstairs living room. Um, it, I don't know, it just seems a little bit cozier to me, right? So, and right through here is the primary. Lots of nice, light, um, open, airy feel. You do have three large windows in this room. Now, one thing that I also like about this property is the casing. So this isn't just your standard casing. Um, this is actually, you know, like a farmhouse style casing. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's all you can say, right? So right through here, you have the primary ensuite, separate shower, soaking tub, nice modern fixtures, modern accents, and then a good size closet. Notice the shiplap behind the ensuite sinks. And then through here, you have the other three rooms. So these are pretty decent sized rooms. Um, this one is probably the smaller of the other three, but you do have the double door closet. This does overlook the backyard. And then the other two overlook the front yard. Right through here, you have the guest bathroom. Bedroom, guest bedroom number two. And guest bedroom number three. So a total of four bedrooms, um, two and a half bathrooms, three car garage, really good size home. Now up here in this cutaway, you also have the washer and dryer area. Notice that it does have the porcelain tile instead of the rolled on linoleum like a lot of builders tend to put in the washer dryer area. All right, so let's check out the backyard. So you do have this nice um, covered back porch area. You can do like we did and you can put a ceiling fan up here for those, those summer nights, maybe enclose this or put a screen around it. But what I really wanted to highlight is the size of this backyard. I mean, this thing is a really good size, especially you know in today's day and age where they're building houses right on top of each other. Um, this is kind of an area that is out on the back end of Rayford, close to the Wagram line. Um, but it's also kind of in between or, or a couple minutes from Southern Pines and Aberdeen. So it's a really good location, but this backyard is just massive and it's nice and quiet out here. This is the middle of the day and you can't hear anything but the birds chirping. All 
All right, guys, so that'll do it for 247 North Forest Walters Road in Rayford, North Carolina. If you want to see this listing or any listing like it or anything in the Rayford area, please feel free to give me a call, 910-870-5009. This is Sean McDonough, your local agent.